All right, hello all you crazy people out there. This is Dragonet Spam, and what in the world am I doing now? So, some time ago on Reddit, I mentioned in passing that I'd made an automatic YouTube thumbnail generator. And as it turns out, some people were somewhat interested in that, so I decided that I'd go and um, release this to the world and see what everyone else thinks. So, I made this a long time ago. I think it was October 2013, uh, using GameMaker 8.1 of all things. Um, I, the original idea was just to have something that could generate a series of YouTube thumbnails so that I didn't have to go and spend time making each of them individually in Photoshop if all I had to do was change the number. And, well, it does its job. If you want to mess around with this, I will have this over for download in the video description. Uh, I'm also going to probably have the project file up there in case anybody else wants to go and mess around with it. It's a Windows executable. I can't guarantee that it'll work on all computers with the Windows operating system installed. Uh, Windows XP or later, but it should. It's a pretty simple program. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to go through and uh, explain what it does and what it doesn't do for a few minutes here. Uh, first, there's this background picture. You can change this. Go click on that uh, little icon on the background. I'm going to go find a picture that isn't uh, bravely default, if you'll give me a minute. Hey, Mario Kart 7, that looks good. So you can set your background or whatever you want that to be. Uh, next, I'm going to skip over that little camera icon for a minute because that's for really for when you're finished. Uh, there's this text. You can go and do a bunch of things to your text. You can change the, uh, the font, text size, color, the outline color. I decided to call it glow in the settings for a reason, but it's just the outline. Uh, you can make it, um, how about, I don't know, red or something like that. That looks pretty ridiculous. I'm going to change it back to black. Um, let's see. There's that. You can uh, get rid of the outline. If you don't like it, you can make it bold. It's bold by default. You can make it italic. Uh, you, can, you can edit the contents of the text, you can make it a part whatever, episode whatever. Uh, you can go and put, let's see, format this however you want. You can put n first, uh, backslash n backslash. I can do something like that. If you want to have the actual number sign in there, this is just a quirk of Game Maker, but if you have the, uh, the number sign just there, it's going to interpret it as a new line character, uh, a line break. So if you want the number sign, you're going to have to do a backslash and then the number sign. Um, that's just a bizarre why ever they decided to use that for Game Maker, I don't know. But you can go and do that. You can rotate the text. Um, I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. I think it looks pretty unprofessional unless I know you're doing some joke somewhere. I'm going to change that back to a right side up so it doesn't look stupid. Uh, the, the, there is the text alignment. You can do left, center, or right aligned. Uh, I believe it's left by default. I'm going to move that back over there. Uh, yeah, you can drag this around too. Um, you probably noticed that. Uh, next, you can increment or decrement the actual number there. So it doesn't go below zero because there's no point in having like a negative video number that doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's no limit to how high it can go, but most of the time you're probably not going to be going over 50 or 60 unless you're meaning you do like 80 video long Pokemon runs. That's neither here nor there. Next, this icon doesn't look like anything, but you can add yourself a picture or a logo or whatever. I'm going to add my... Uh, my YouTube logo here, that doesn't look like anything. I don't know why it didn't show up. Uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. But you can add yourself a picture. That's my usual uh, internet avatar. I'm going to change that to something that's a little bigger because it's not very big, not very easy to see. That's better. I'm going to drag this over to the corner. You can uh, turn on a grid, and these things that you can drag around will snap to the grid. By the way, you can add multiple pictures. You can only have one set of text. Might change that in the future, but again, that's not a priority. Uh, space. Right click to change the picture, or um, that disappeared because I didn't select anything. Or space, uh, right click to delete it. I should probably have this written down somewhere. I'm going to turn off the grid. Uh, over here, you can save, so uh, when you restart the program, your, uh, your work is going to come back to the way it was before. So uh, make that a window. Over here, credits information. That's fancy fade in transition on a character that isn't the copyright symbol. I'm not going to fix that. I'm going to get rid of that. Lastly, this is the important part. So you can take yourself a screenshot, and I'm going to say uh, MK7, and that's going to go and take itself a screenshot. Uh, these pictures over here are going to disappear uh, when the screenshot is actually taken. So if I can find what I'm looking for and go and open this up, uh, you can see that it's this picture with the text and the logo on it, but uh, without the grid, if you have the grid enabled, I don't know, apparently that minimizes the window in Windows 8. Uh, without the grid, without the icons at the top. Uh, you can also go and take yourself a range of screenshots, which is what I usually do. So I'm going to say MK7. Um, and the lower bound is going to be about 1, and the upper bound is going to be like 5. I don't need a whole lot of them. And it's going to automatically go through that and generate them. 
see. And over uh, over here, you can see it's generated a series of thumbnails, uh, one through five, <clears throat> and that's the background. If you go to a really high number, say if you try to go like one through fifty, for whatever reason, I think this is something to do with your graphics uh, graphics driver graphics card. Uh, it'll appear to freeze, but the program will keep going. So if I were to go, say, uh, go um, MK7, uh, 1 to 50, it's going to tell you it may appear to stop temporarily. And for whatever reason, in that case, it was fine. Uh, the program didn't do anything unusual. It just went and did what it's supposed to. You can see I have more pictures than I really need in here, and I'm going to delete them to save uh, space in this folder, make it look less cluttered anyway. But if it does happen to appear to freeze, don't worry too much about it. If it breaks, if it crashes your computer, well, contact me and I'll see if I can do anything about it. But that's about it. It's a simple program that I made a little while ago that does its job. I still use it today. Uh, you can go over here. You can see I used it for a couple things. Mario Kart 7 looks fairly similar to the example that I was working on there. Brutally Default, uh, Skyrim, a couple things in the past. I'm not going to go through them all. But yeah, that's the thumbnail generator. The code's in here. You can go mess around with it if you want to. Uh, you can go make fun of my coding style because I did make this a very long time ago and I had a pretty bad coding style. Um, <clears throat> lack of consistency, rather. I don't know why that opened up. If you want me to actually go and talk about how it works, you can do that as well. But for now, rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch more of the stuff I have uploaded, and I will see you all later.